If you are new to the UK, you might have missed out on one of the biggest culture wars currently taking place within the country. That of course being Bexit. You didn't mishear me, Bexit. The exit of the bounty bar from the celebration's Christmas chocolate box. A big uproar that now I still have one with, with the old bounty in it, but they're now making them without because so many Brits seem to hate the coconut laden bar. Now, as an American who moved here 10 years ago, this might surprise many of you. These are very new to me. I didn't grow up with a Christmas British family, and so therefore I've never really had a chance to have any of these at all until last year when my girlfriend's family gave them to me during Christmas. If you're new to the UK, you don't know much about it. Essentially, these are an incredibly pivotal part of British culture for the holidays. Uh, basically, during the entire Christmas week and or before and a little bit after, these exist around the house. You just buy a couple of these boxes and they just eat them all day. They do not stop. If you are not eating your Christmas feast or your Boxing Day leftover feast, you are munching on these all day. At least that's from my experience now of experiencing it once. Now, because of this, me only experiencing it one time, I've never really gone through these. I've never even heard of Roses. I think I'm least excited for these. Quality Street, I think I've heard of. Heroes, I know a couple of these bars. And Celebrations, I think, is the one I might have had, but I actually don't know. And so, for the first time, we're going to be doing a tier list of all these to finally settle the score, which is the best British Christmas chocolate box. Let's go. Also, you can subscribe. I do tier list stuff all the time. And in fact, hey, if you are new here, subscribing is nice. I'm gonna be having a little tea in between. First off, I think I am actually gonna go with the Quality Street here. Oh, actually, yeah, I, I think this is the only one that I have a slight experience with, I think. I honestly can't remember. So I'm going in with unbiased opinions. I feel like every other British person is like, oh, I love this one because it reminds me of when my pa family loved me. Not me, they never loved me, okay? <laughs> I love a good single-use plastic. Oh, to be fair, that is quite, it's quite nice. Ooh. All right, so I, I have no idea what any of these are. Each one is colored differently and they just say Quality Street on them. Is there, is there like a, a thing, a key? Okay, so the flavors are the Green Triangle. My favorite. I love the taste of three edges. <laughs> the purple one, Fudge. We've got Caramel Swirl, okay, at this point I know what these are. Orange Cream, Toffee Penny, Milk Chalk Block, and Coconut Eclair. Oh, Strawberry Delights, Orange Chocolate Crunch, Toffee Finger. There's a lot of different flavors going on in this quality street. Now, I will just put it out there, I like everything. I don't hate toffee or coconut or anything else. Pretty much, I'm a big fan of everything. So I'm gonna take, um, first one I grabbed here, looks to be a toffee finger, I think. Oh, okay, uh, I mean, and it's very hard to chew. Nothing wrong with this. It's just a bit too chewy. Jeez, I feel like the toffee finger, it was really tasty. And I feel like it's in this box to give to children who won't shut up. Th that's at least a solid minute of chewing. I'm, I'm scared because I don't know how the rest of these are. So I actually, this is the first one. So my experience with that was pretty good. I'm not going to rank it badly. Uh, we're going to put toffee finger here in good. What is this? Milk chalk block. All right, you can't go wrong with just a milk chalk block. All right. Some basic chocolate. This is gonna get a lot of angry comments. Tastes like a Hershey bar, standard Hershey bar. Little Hershey kiss, very basic in a good way. It was good chocolate, but it wasn't like amazing basic. I wanna put it in either good or meh. Oh, it definitely wasn't better than the finger. So we're just gonna put it up there with the finger. It was pretty okay. All right, what's this blue one here? Come on now. What? Coconut eclair. All right, this one will be divisive. I'm gonna break my jaw today. It was good. <laughs> Everything good. I mean, it's coconut. So like it tasted okay. Then it tasted better. Then it tasted okay again, um, which kind of centers around it's good. I don't love it. But now if I'm get, being really compare-y, I, I actually prefer the other two. So I'm even though I do enjoy coconut most of the time, we're going to be putting that one solidly in meh. It's, it's not bad, it's not like awful, but I mean, it's not like the other two. Orange Chocolate Crunch. Wow, there's so many options in this one box. I'm gonna get through one of all of these. Nobody saw that. Oh, wow. It was such an, an intense orange flavor. It was like if Terry's Chocolate Orange was, was, was more concentrated. That was an accidental orange pun, I'll take it. I'm not usually an orange chocolate guy. But I liked how quick that was, how intense it was. I'm actually gonna put the orange crunch into very good, all right? It, it's above the other two. Pink, up next. Ooh, this one's just straight up fudge. Ooh, it's fudge. It was very good. 
It's not like complex with flavors, but it was just, mm. All right, we're moving that to excellent, lads. All right, where are we going? I bet all of you are screaming, like you, you know what all of these are, right? Of course you do. The one that's called the purple one is called the purple one. Like, how difficult can that be? Uh, strawberry delight. I'm not really a big fan of the fruit ones, but yet orange got really high up there. It's just like the orange one. It's so intense of a flavor with strawberries. I don't hate it, but out of all the other ones, I'd rather I, I'd rather have the other ones. I I um I don't think it's poor. It's going next to the coconut. It has that same vibe. I, it was intense, but intensely meh. Is that all right? All right. Okay. I want to try this purple one. It, it's just called the purple one, and I think that's a bold decision. Okay. All right. It's shaped like uh. You you don't say anything inappropriate. Okay. I don't know what the rest of these are like, but that is the best one I've had so far. It was like two different candy bars in one. It had some like soft little traveling bits, little caramel, I think, and then boom, it hit me with like some nice crispy bits. You know, listen, I don't know what the rest of these are, but if I'm just judging on what I've had, the purple one, God tier at this point. Uh, hoo -hoo. All right, so green triangle, another one that we don't know what is inside. However, there's just something about the shape that makes me think it's minty. And uh, full disclosure, I did say I like a lot of things. Chocolate and mint, hugely popular. People love the chocolate ice cream with mint in it. I don't love it usually. Not minty. This left a bad taste in my mouth as well. It's not awful, is it? But it's, it's definitely poor. Oh, I'm actually gonna put that in awful. It wasn't, at a, it was just, the other ones had such an experience and that one was bad mixed with worse. All right, green triangle. My favorite shape, my least favorite quality street. Is this a different one? Oh, this is a different one. I think this is the toffee penny or it's the caramel swirl. I don't know what this is. Ooh, mmm. I think it's this one right here. It hit really late. That's definitely very good. Mmm. Now this is one I've had. <laughs> According to this tier list, there are a couple left that I can't seem to find in my box. I most definitely don't have the rounded blue one. My box has these ones. Maybe there's some in here that are hiding, but I'm now going to move on to my next box. Cadbury Heroes. Okay, we're just moving along. Cadbury Heroes. Oh, quality box. Gonna use this to store some stuff. Little, I don't know, textiles. Okay, we got Twisteds. I've never heard of a Twisted, uh, but it says it's a Cadbury Cream Egg Twisted. Sure. See, this is nice. They label these. Thank you, Cadbury. You're a hero. I mean, yeah, if you like cream eggs. All right, cream egg is just solid meh. It was, it was okay. It wasn't bad. Oh, crunchy. Now I am partial. This was like my first British chocolate bar I ever had. And I don't think there's anything too similar in the States. So I really enjoyed it. Crunchy bits gets very good. Okay. It's just very good. It's standard. It's not trying to be anything special. Now a twirl, I think is like an uncoated Cadbury's bar. I like it's the thing that you get in an ice cream here. A Mr. Whippy. Oh, well, that's a flake. A twirl is a covered flake. Never mind. <laughs> it's chocolate. Uh, it reminds me of the chocolate block from the last one, except it's a bit dry. Big solid math for the twirl. It was okay. A, a dinky decker. As we all know from a video I made ages ago, British people refer to small things as dinky, not low quality. Now this guy's packing. Well, I just want someone to stand up to the purple one at this point. It was like really interesting consistency, but kind of just okay. So I'm, I'm gonna rank that a good. I guess it was good. It was good. A whisper. Truth be told, I genuinely don't think I've ever had a whisper, so. Here we go. It's a Milky Way. No, Three Mess of Tears, it's a Three Mess of Tears. I'm gonna put that one in very good. It was just, it was basic and fluffy and good and safe. And I, I like that. All right, Wispa, very good. So far, the quality street has had a bit more of a range there. Nothing quite as awful in this one as the green triangle yet. What do we got? We got fudge. At this point, I'm thinking of just doing halves of these because Jesus, I'm eating all of this chocolate. I think that's the first one we're putting in the poor. Cadbury's fudge, sorry, you are, you're, you're in the poor class. All right, not happening. We have three more Cadbury's according to this list. Ah, a dairy milk caramel. Really wonky. <laughs> as soon as I bit into it, it like melted in my mouth. It was quite a lovely experience. We're putting it in the excellent. All right, you did it Cadbury's heroes. We're, we're, we're putting that up there. We're getting a nice distribution. Ew, my box came with one opened. Have I had this one? What is this? It's hard as a rock. What is this? Cadbury's, that's not quite a hero box there. It's, what is this? I don't want to put this in my mouth. He puts it back into the box. Ah, okay. So the two left besides that hard one, which I'm not eating. You can give that to your children. We've got here an eclair and a standard dairy milk. 
Oh, okay. There is so much of a league of difference between that dairy milk chocolate and the quality street chocolate. That like chocolate one that was just kind of good. This was so much better. I'd say it's very good. It's definitely not excellent, but compared to that one, wow. I went in ready to judge that one because I was like, it's just gonna be chocolate, but it's just good chocolate. You know, it's good. The final one for our heroes. God, I'm getting full. This is a Cadbury's Eclair. This is the one that I found opened already in the box. Okay. Oh, are you not meant to, ow. <laughs> are you not meant to chew it? Who made, why? Oh, you know what? We have an off, uh, it's just awful. I'm, I'm not sorry. It was like someone combined the worst parts of a lot of chocolate. Like they put that hard, almost, you know what milk duds are in the States? It's kind of like that, it gets stuck, like really thick toffee, but not in a nice way. And it just felt awful, awful. Oh God, there's so much chocolate. I've not had lunch, so this quite literally is my lunch. In terms of which do I rank better so far, the Quality Street or the Cadbury's Heroes? Hmm, that is really difficult. I think these overall, like on average, were kind of a little bit better, kind of? A little bit, but yeah, this one had the purple one, which no one has come up against so far. So I would genuinely get Quality Street just for the purple one. All right, time for a celebration. First off is the Mars. And I'm gonna bite this in half because I wanna know what it actually is. Is this an American Milky Way? Yes. Oh, wow. It's a classic to me as a child. I'm not a child now. The American Milky Way, also known as the British Mars Bar. I'm gonna rank Excellent. It is excellent, okay? We'll be honest. Mars bar. Excelente, as they say in España. Oh, next up, we got the Twix. Gonna put this betwixt mine lips. <laughs> I wanna put it in God tier because it's my one of my favorite chocolate bars, but I feel like <laughs> it'd be rude to the purple one. I now wanna have another purple one and be like, you must compare to the Twix. I'm gonna tentatively put Twix in the God tier. Oh God, I'm getting so full. Snickers. Anyone have one of these before? Obviously, Snickers, I think, is the most uh, sold chocolate bar in the entire world, somehow beating Reese's. Don't know why. Snickers is very good. Snickers is very good. I feel like this one might just be the best box in terms of overall. I'm, it's probably gonna end up like that. A Galaxy. Now this is British. This isn't one that I've had, I don't think, before. Is this like the rival to dairy milk? Is it gonna be chocolate? Yeah, it's just chocolate. Definitely superior to the chalk block from the Quality Street. But on the same par as the dairy milk, actually. I'm gonna put that, wait, there's two different galaxies? Oh, there's a caramel one. All right, so this is the standard chocolate. The standard chocolate galaxy gets up there with very good, uh, similar with dairy milk. All right, Maltesers is up. Malteser! Ooh! It was like if you took everything good about the solid chocolate, like the, the dairy milk or the galaxy, and just threw some little bits of malted milk ball in there. That was really good. I'm, I actually it was excellent. I'm definitely putting the Malteser up there in excellent. Excelente. Bounty, you are up next. You know what? It's good, but if I had one candy bar amount of space in my stomach for a candy bar, I wouldn't choose that one. I feel bad about it, but it's not, well, it's not really that bad, but it's definitely in the meh. It's the weakest of this entire box. So I do understand now, because if you're sharing this with a family and you get stuck with that when there's Twix on the table, when there's Snickers there, the bounty, uh, yeah, that does make sense. We're gonna put that in meh. Everything in the celebration so far has been very high except for that one. So this is a British Milky Way, which I think means it's essentially a Three Musketeers. I've been so confused. I'm on a sugar high right now. Yeah, Three Musketeers. It was good. I think I'm, I'm, that's actually an average one. It's better than the Bounty, but it's nowhere near the other ones on the list. So, Milky Way, good. Oh, we're starting to get somewhere here. God, I'm getting so full. The final one in the celebrations, we've got a Galaxy Caramel. Caramel. Mm, that was really pleasant. It was really pleasant. That's very good. That's very good. Mm. So far, I'd say the Heroes and the Quality Street are roughly neck and neck. This one has a better one. This one has a better average, maybe. And this one overall has a higher average. And now the final, the finale. All right. Oh, God. I don't want these anymore. <laughs> All right, so the roses, we've got, is there like a key? So we've got uh, Hazel and Caramel. We got Strawberry Dream, Caramel, Tangy Orange, Cream, Cadbury Dairy Milk Chunk, Signature Truffle. We got Country Fudge, Hazel Whirl, and Golden Barrel. First up is Country Fudge. Okay. 
<laughs> that was the most boring chocolate I've had. Like it wasn't awful. I don't even, it doesn't even feel like I, that's it. Poor, that's right, strawberry dream. It just wasn't nice. <laughs> that's actually, uh, strawberry dream, more like strawberry you. <laughs> You're in the, that's awful. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, not off to a good start with the roses here. Next up we have golden barrel. I don't even know what this is gonna taste like. Oh, look at that, it's a little barrel. Was it really bad, initially? And then there was this slight hit of, that's kind of nice. Yellow, all right, that's poor. Come on, roses, give me something good. Caramel, oh, thank God, one without cream. Compared to the one I just had, it wasn't as bad, but it was kind of just okay. I expected a bit more for something called caramel. It almost tasted like fudgy. Uh, honestly, we're gonna put that in meh. God, I feel so bad about this, but also, come on. I want some goodness here. We've got a truffle here. Y'all ever do truffles before? Cause here we go, doing it live. <laughs> it's chocolate, you know? That was their signature? <laughs> Listen, I've had a lot of chocolate at this point. We're get, I can be the harshest critic because I've at this point tried all of them very quick succession. That was their signature. I do not look forward to the, the final couple here. The signature was good, okay? Uh, that's being nice. It was good. It wasn't awful. It was good. More cream! I'm so, uh, so basically what I'm finding out is the roses ones are just chocolates wrapped around way too much cream. I like cream when it's done well, but this is getting too much for me. Look at that. No. I'm sorry. It's, I, I know there must be a rose fandom out there. But if these are all the same price, which I bought them all for the same price, why in God's name would you choose the roses? It's just okay. Like, it's meh. I feel like I'm gonna have to put it in meh. Cause it's, it's not as good as the truffle, but it's, oh. The final two, hazel whirl and a dairy milk. Surprise, surprise. It tastes like dairy milk. It tastes like dairy milk. So it actually was, so far, the best one I've had. Weirdly enough, I, the Cadbury's Heroes dairy milk tasted better to me. <laughs> I don't know. It is is definitely one of the nice ones of the roses, even though it's literally just a block of chocolate. All right, putting that in, it's good. And the final one, Hazel Whirl. The final go. Bone Appetit. Okay. You know what? It's like someone in England saw the recipe for Ferrero Rocher and tried to nick it and then not give them any credit. And Ferrero Rocher was like, we don't want credit. That tastes like shit. Oh God. Um, I'm really sorry, but that one is just in the meh. Now to rank all four. Obviously I don't think I need to say this too many times. This one just goes in the bin. All right, the roses is dreadful. Um, I honestly, I wouldn't give that to my greatest enemy. I feel like <laughs> I was not a fan of a certain family and I had to give them Christmas chocolates. I would choose the roses to be like, I don't like you, but I'm being nice. If I did have to bring chocolates to a family and I did like them, I think any of these three would honestly be pretty good. If I had to choose one of these though, I do, I just really like the variety of this one. The Quality Street just has such a nice variety of flavors from good to bad, like all over the place. and. They all were really nice and not too creamy. I think that was something I really liked about it. Obviously these ones are like the name brand chocolates, so you can't really go wrong with these, but mm. I'm going to say that Celebrations beats out the Heroes. So Heroes is gonna be in third place. And then between Celebrations and Quality Street, I feel like Quality Street is winner for me. It just feels more like Christmas chocolate. This feels more like Halloween chocolate that someone put in a box and said, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Whereas this, it just feels a bit more wholesome. So Quality Street gets my best box award. <sighs> Congratulations, Quality Street. Was that the first one I had? I am delirious, but it was. Wow, it was best and it was first? Interesting. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, please be sure to do the thing that you do that you do when you enjoy things. I'm delirious. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ukulele. <laughs> Quality Street is pretty neat and heroes has anything but zeros. Celebrations more like Halloween conversations and the nation turned up their noses at the Cadbury Roses. And now I want to throw up. <laughs> I'm actually gonna lay down. <laughs>